a lot of people, I'd say 95% of people out there, they're confused on how this is going to work, and I'm going to break it down. And don't get me wrong, I think the four-team playoff format, it's been awesome, but we need more. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I assume if you clicked on this video, you heard the breaking news. If you didn't hear the news, you gotta be living under a rock at this point. The playoff is about to expand from four teams to 12. It's not gonna happen this year or even the year after that, which would be next year. It's gonna happen in 2024. To say that I'm excited for this, that would be an understatement. I'm beyond excited, and it's not just for one reason, it's for multiple different ones, which I'll talk about in this video. However, the main topic of this video is we gotta talk about the format. A lot of people, I'd say 95% of people out there, they're confused on how this is gonna work, and I'm gonna break it down. Y'all know how I am. I wanna dumb it down in the simplest way as possible, and that's what I'm gonna do. Whoa, 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 Hold on, hold on. Before you click out the video, I already know what you're about to say. Matt, I don't need you to break it down. It's simple. The top 12 teams get in. And just like Lee Corso says, not so fast, my friend. It's not quite as simple as the top 12 teams are getting in. For example, if this 12-team format was in effect this year and Purdue upset Michigan in the Big Ten title game, Purdue, an unranked team, they would make it to the 12-team playoff. That's what people are not understanding about this. I can't speak for you, but I can speak for myself, and I, for one, love that because it gives me a reason to watch the game. As a college football fan, heck, as a fan of anything, what do we want? We want stakes. We don't want to watch a meaningless game. We want something to be on the line. And don't get me wrong, I think the 14 playoff format, it's been awesome, but we need more. Before I get too far ahead of myself, we're going to talk all about it in this video. It's the only thing we're going to talk about. All right, Matt, blah, blah, blah. Shut the crap up. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. I say we started off hot. Let me read you this reply to what ESPN posted when they announced the 12-team playoff is going to happen in 2024. Somebody replied, lame. We'll just keep adding teams until we're back to square one. And under that, this is what I really like. It got over 500 likes. Mikey said, what's lame is that only four teams make a playoff. Means that the top teams have to be near perfect all season or else they play for nothing. So much for more entertainment slash competition under this format. He also added to it, 12 teams equals more football to watch and more possible upsets slash great moments and i agree that is some great points and i remember when all this conversation it was going on about what was it a year and a half to two years ago that's when it started i myself was an outlier because i was the one saying hey i'm all for it more teams the merrier i think 12 or 8 that's a good number and a lot of people said i was crazy for that because four teams that's all we need that's enough the number one argument that i see everybody bring up and they're 100 right is if you make it eight or 12 teams it devalues the regular season there's not even an argument you can't debate it because technically and theoretically it does devalue the regular season but and I have a big butt, I don't think it devalues it as much as people try to make it out to seem. Let me give you a great example so me and you can understand it in a different perspective before I break down this format and what's going to happen. Most of y'all know this, I myself, I'm an Alabama fan, but at the end of the day, I'm a college football fan. Number one, I love college football, and number two, I love stakes. I want to watch a game with something on the line, and I can't emphasize that enough. It's the same reason people gamble on women's soccer. They don't care about women's soccer, they just want something on the line. The best example I can use is, oh, what do you know? Championship week coming up in a couple of days. If the 12-team format was in effect this year, I would love to watch this Clemson and North Carolina game because a playoff spot's on the line. But since Clemson has two losses and obviously they're not getting in the top four, I'm not even inclined to watch the game. I don't really care. There's nothing to play for. Same thing with the Purdue and Michigan game. If this 12-team format was in effect, Purdue, the Cinderella story could upset Michigan and get into the playoff. But since we're stuck with four teams, even if Michigan Michigan loses the game, they're getting in, and Purdue can't get in. You see what I'm saying? I could continue to go on and on. Same thing with LSU and Georgia. The game doesn't even matter. And last but not least, same thing with TCU and Kansas State. Unless TCU loses by 400, they're getting in the playoff. The only game that really matters this weekend is USC and Utah. I brought that up to say this. Does it really devalue the regular season or add more value? Think about it, I remember saying this a couple weeks ago, as the season gets into the later part, I'm only really watching about seven or eight teams because in reality, only seven or eight teams are competing for four spots. But think about it, once we go to 12 teams, I'm going to be watching at minimum 16 to 20 teams fight for a 12-team playoff. Does it devalue some of the big-time games like a Tennessee and Alabama this year or an Ohio State-Michigan? 
Yeah, but it adds way more value to the end of the season for more teams. I could go on and on. I'll talk a little bit more about that in just a second. All right, let's break this down. If you haven't paid attention to any other thing I've said, pay attention in this part. The number one and obvious, we're going from four to 12 teams. There's nothing to explain there. But here's where the misconception starts to happen. Six of those teams are going to be automatic qualifiers, which is like in March Madness, which is basketball automatic bids. The six highest ranked conference champions are automatic qualifiers. For example, you're going to have five conference champions from the Power 5 and one conference champion from the non-Power 5 get in. That right there could be chaos alone because, for example, the games this weekend, if Utah upsets USC, if Kansas State upsets TCU, if Purdue upset Michigan, if LSU upset Georgia, they would be getting in the 12-team playoff. That right there alone is chaotic itself. I can't dumb that down anymore. To go along with those six teams, you're gonna have six other at-large bids. Which, for example, in this case and scenario this year would be a team like Alabama. They didn't get to the conference championship game but they're one of the top 12 teams and a team like Tennessee and also a team like Ohio State. Those teams would be your at-large bids and also even if you lose a conference championship, you could be an at-large. So that's how we're going to get our 12 teams. It can be kind of confusing, but once it starts to happen, I think people will understand it. It's basically a similar format to college basketball. If you win your conference championship, you're getting in no matter what. Moving along here and to break it down even more, the first four seeds, they're gonna have buys. For example, this year, Georgia, Michigan, TCU, and USC, they're getting buys. They're not even playing in round one. And I'll show you right here, this would be your six through 12 matchups. I get excited just looking at it. I wish a 12 team playoff could go into effect this year because it'd be awesome. You'd have Clemson and Penn State, that'd be amazing. Ohio State and Tulane, could you see an upset? Who knows? Ohio State, they looked terrible in the game a week ago. You got Utah and Alabama. That'd be a heck of a matchup. And then Kansas State and Tennessee. Self-explanatory from that point on, the winners of that then play either Georgia, Michigan, TCU, and USC. And then it's down to eight teams. I like it. I really do because it really does suck. For example, Tennessee this year, they had one of the best seasons in 15-something years, and they're not even going to the playoff. They had that insane win over Alabama. They beat LSU by 30 points, and it's all for nothing. And I want y'all to think about this. As a Bama fan, I have no reason to even want the playoff to expand because we've made it dang near every single year. I just got to be brutally honest with you guys. If you're against this 12-team playoff, you got to be a weirdo. There's got to be something wrong with you. Who doesn't want to see more college football? And one of my favorite parts about March Madness, the 64 team tournament, is upsets. And I already know what everybody's going to say. Well, Matt, it's going to be the same four teams competing for the championship. There's never going to be a crazy upset like Tulane upsetting Ohio State. And here's my argument to that. You never know. There's a reason we play the games. In March Madness, we never think a 15 seed's gonna be the two seed, but it happens. You never know, and it's also fun for that reason, cause we're gonna get some of those Cinderella teams in there that everybody's gonna say they have no shot to beat a Ohio State, Michigan, or Alabama, and they do. I love everything about it, I'm a fan of it, and I'm gonna go back to this. It now gives me a reason to watch more games later in the season. Look, I'm sorry, am I crazy? Am I the only one who feels this way? I can't get excited for this LSU-Georgia game, this Clemson and North Carolina game, because nothing's on the line. Another great example, I'm gonna go back to this. Ohio State lost one game, I know it was embarrassing, but they lost one game, and they're not even going to be in the playoff. It sucks. It really does. I'm glad we've opened it up. I think 12 teams is a great number. And also, another reason why it's great, if you want to look at it from this standpoint, more money. This is going to generate a stupid amount of money for a lot of these schools. Bring it on, man. I'm going to show you this one more time. Who is against this? Who would be opposed to seeing this 12-team playoff? I know I wouldn't. I know I wouldn't. That don't make sense. I know I wouldn't be. Yeah, that's a better way to say it. You get what I'm trying to say. The college football gods have blessed us. Kind of sucks. It's not even going to happen next year, but it's going to be here sooner rather than later. Let me know your thoughts down below. But, uh,